Well, hello there and happy Sunday to all of my amazing Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Sunday reading. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you all Leos. Hopefully you are starting this week off right by setting those intentions. Hey, listen, Leos, today kicks off the first quarter moon in Leo. Yes, indeedy. We're going to talk about the number 38. So, hey, we're talking about the number really every number that reduces to 11. So 38 reduces to 11 and the significance it holds. Let's get into your reading. I'm talking to you if you have Leo anywhere in your chart. So that means I'm talking to myself as well. I'm reading for myself. So I'm excited about what these cards have to say, Leos. I'm talking to you if your sun, moon, rising, wherever Leo is in your chart. It could be your MC or IC. It doesn't matter. Wherever Leo is in your chart, don't forget to check out some of the other videos in your birth chart. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. By now, you know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to my humorous, cheerful, warm-hearted, very generous, passionate, creative. Yes, very creative, optimistic, natural leaders who are very kind and protective and honest and vivacious. Somebody in your life is very nervous, very scared, and shook. Here we have the chariot card and we have the devil card, right? We're not calling anybody the devil. The devil actually represents all the carnal side of all of us, right? Somebody is just very, very nervous. Um, and there are clear messages that are coming through, right? This is attached to Mercury. So very clear messages are coming through. And Mercury is attached to the um, planet, the messenger planet. So it's how we communicate. Um, also, I see somebody sailing away from a situation that you could have been married to. It could have been a marriage in a romantic way or marriage in a, um, in a professional way. Maybe you were under contract with somebody. Maybe you had some kind of an agreement or something. But as disappointed as you are, you've sailed away from the emotions and decided to move on. Like I said, you're choosing you. And what's being replaced by that is more money. And it's going to come very, very fast, right? It's going to come fast. So again... Remember, the first quarter moon looks like a half of a moon in the sky. So somebody is halfway um, to where they've been wanting to be, right? Which is completely operating in faith and not fear. The devil card actually represents fear. It represents doubt. It represents an addiction. So somebody is halfway there, really embracing all sides of themselves, right? Even when you look at this card right here, you know that the number 11 represents light. Um, stepping into your own light those two pillars, right? The number 11, you see the number 11 here with this card, left and right, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, right? But we're going to talk about the number 38, like I say, which reduces to the number 11. As a 38, you are highly intuitive and in tune to the divine. You trust in that bridge between your conscious and unconscious, connecting to the unseen, right? This is a number of natural clairvoyance, right? The creative three fuels the 11, resulting in the number of spiritual leaders and entrepreneurship. And so you're happiest when you're being of service to others. Your energy field, your, which is your aura, can sometimes be larger than average. You are an instrument of wisdom and peace. That's right. So I see somebody moving towards legacy wealth, right? So this is what you're focusing on right now, Leo, is creating legacy, right? Really creating legacy. And somebody is very, very happy celebrating outside of a building of some sorts, right? Somebody is celebrating outside of a building, whether it's a school, a house, or something. But I do see more money coming your way. In other words, somebody stepped into their own light. Somebody, you know, took charge and started leading themselves instead of depending on other people to lead you. And I'm seeing financial independence for you. So this is very nice, Leo. Very, very nice. This is you in the past. Remember, okay, so 5, 10. So 10 would represent the full moon. This is full manifestation of something. This is what you instantly manifest it, right? The number five means it's a very pivotal point in your life representing this half of this moon. When you look out at the sky tonight, it's going to look like a half illuminated moon. You're halfway there, right? You're halfway there. This is where you want to put that fire up under yourself as a fire sign, as, you know, being ruled by the sun, get your disposition, like a sunny disposition, very positive, moving forward, no matter what's going on in your life, speak it into existence so you can move forward and open up this vault, right? You know your value because you watched the last video with number zero, right? And so you've added zeros to your value. Here we have the two of cups. So I see you loving up on yourselves more. Again, I see you see the dark and the light. 
the dark and the light, right? And this right here, this is divine masculine, divine feminine, and divine feminine. So you have a lot of feminine energy up here where you're talking about, you know, to yourself, I need to nurture myself more. I need to mother myself more. I'm talking about somebody may have cancer in their chart. I need to mother myself more and I need to bury that. We're talking about the earth. I need to bury a situation so that I can move on. I need to bury the emotions attached to the situation so I can move on. I can do this myself. I can do this myself. If I just focus on nurturing myself some more and I focus on, watch how quickly things move for you. Watch how quickly they move. Here we have the hermit card. Somebody has really been in introspection mode, really thinking about next steps. How can I move forward? How can I move forward towards my legacy wealth, towards going into business with somebody or possibly meeting your person? So your, your, um, your qual the qualifications have changed, is what I'm saying. The way you're looking towards you know, creating legacy wealth you know, for your family has changed. You're not necessarily going with people who are just popular. You're, you're listening to your intuition. You're not thinking of them as being a, a, like a stepping stone to get into where you need to be, like with how you vision, envision yourself and where you're going. You're taking, uh, like I said, you are taking on that leadership role like you've always been a leader, right? You know that you're very creative. You know that you're vivacious. You know that you're kind and protective, that you're a natural leader, right? So you're taking the reins, the ace of cups, new emotions. You've replenished some emotions. Like somebody just had a breakthrough in their emotions. Like, well, you know what? I need to move on. I need to move on. And for some of you all, it's great, right? So some of you all, like I said, are leaving behind some energies that you just felt like, I tried. We just don't work well together. It's just, we're just not compatible in any way. And that's where the disappointment comes in because your heart was in the right place. That's where the disappointment comes in. So some of you all may be a little nervous and embracing all sides of yourselves, the light in you, the dark in you, the, let me give you an example, Leo. So there's a lot of balance up here, right? There's a lot of balance. So just let me know in your alone time that somebody's a little nervous about moving forward because you remember you planted some seeds. People love new moon energy because it's a time to rest and relax, spend some time with yourselves, plant those seeds of intention. What do I want to manifest? Let me plant these seeds. I want this. I want this. I want that. I want this and that, so on and so forth. But first quarter moon is a time to get active, put some fire up on you and start making some moves toward the thing you've been saying, those seeds that you planted, right? Start watering those seeds, start speaking to those seeds, right, that you planted in that fertile soil, right? And so somebody is nervous. Somebody is really, really, really nervous. I'm going to tell you why you're nervous, though. You're nervous because you were in a relationship with the person who planted those seeds almost as if you need them. They built this. This is part of their manipulation tactic. They built this sort of um, energy. And this is, and, and you don't, you didn't even have to be uh, like, romantically linked with the person it could have been a, in a business relationship they are excellent manipulators like master manipulate that's the low side of them right the high side of them is highly intuitive um somebody who gives their absolute best somebody who's really truly a sweetheart right but on the low side they are excellent at picking up on other people's emotions and it makes them a master manipulator because they know they can walk into a room and absorb the energy in the room and they know exactly who to go to, what to say to certain people. They're great at listening, you know, and picking up on energy, right? And the energy of money is very attracted to them. So for you all, you may have felt like, okay, I need this person to achieve what I, what I want in my life, right? Um, Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Somebody may also, hmm, somebody may also be in a relationship with or have some kind of connection to a Capricorn um, that is actually helping you in this process of opening up this vault to um, somebody may have Capricorn or somebody may be connected to the planet Saturn, right? So Capricorn and Aquarius are both connected to Saturn. We're not talking about the person because I don't want you to associate zodiac signs with the person. We are creatures of free will and people choose to vibrate high, low, or anywhere like somewhere in between. But we're talking about the ruling planet 
of Saturn, which is connected to two signs, two zodiac signs, Aquarius and um, and Capricorn. But this person is a very hardworking person. This person is very down to earth. They're very stable, very smart, or at least they're connected to somebody who is very smart, um, someone who is very um, loyal, somebody who is very business minded, someone who is, like I said, you, I can see you all either going into business with them or I can see you having um, or even in a pros possibly in a romantic situation with them. But like I said, very clear messages are coming through, you know, but again, you don't need to overthink this. This is not where you need to operate in fear at all. You really don't need to operate in fear. So again, whether the Capricorn is still here in this realm or they're in another realm, something about their work ethic. And I'm talking about a high vibrating Capricorn. And of course, everybody has good and bad, but I'm talking about the good outweighs the bad. Their work ethic is really unmatched, right? And they're not going into, they have such a show me first. They're not interested in emotionally manipulating you. Like you may have come out of a situation. Like, they're seriously the real deal. They're not playing games. Money is very attractive to them as well, just like it was. But it's on a different It's on a different level. They're at a higher frequency is what I'm seeing here. Five of Wands. See, in the past, some of, some of you all were dealing with somebody who had some generational curses attached to them. And no matter what you did, every single time you show some emotion towards them, or their family, or people that they love, you always got burned. Not sometimes, every single time without fail. Because that thing is five generations deep, right? And here, think of it this way. Think of it this way. Here you are, a very caring person, a very optimistic person, a vivacious person, somebody who is radiating light, life-filled energy, that sustains all creation, like, like your ruling planet, the sun. And we know the sun is not a planet. I got to say this for the new people. We know the sun is not a planet. It's a star. Here you are shining bright for all to see in all your glory, just out here, just healing people left and right with your smile and kind word and acknowledgement and all these wonderful things. And you've come out of something with a master manipulator, someone who listened very intently to everything you said in your vulnerability. Every time you cried, they were listening. Ears were like satellite dishes, just tuned in. Every time you cried, every time you laughed, every comment you made about certain people, which family members you liked, didn't like, and listening to things from your past, all these things, right? And the moment, and they use those things to, to manipulate you. So the moment you felt like you were strong enough to leave, i.e. now, like emotionally just completely sever ties and just say, I don't need that relationship in my life. I can do this on my own because I am a very strong leader. That's the reason why they really wanted you in their lives, Leo, is because of the strong leadership you bring. That's what you came into this world. When you came through a portal, right? When you were reborn into this portal, that's why now I'm seeing somebody as disappointed as you are in their manipulative tactics, you're delivered. You're delivered from them. Like somebody delivered you into this realm, that rebirth you have, you're delivered from them, right? Exactly. You're delivered from them. All right. Let's see what else we have over here. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sometimes you got, this is what I'm saying. This is that's why it's important to embrace all sides of yourselves because this type of energy knows with your, what your, I'm going to say the perceived weaknesses are, but they're not going to be ready for this Leo. The Leo who... When in the past they have said they said things to you like, "Oh, you're arrogant, you're inflexible, you're lazy, you're dogmatic and prideful, you're domineering, you're jealous, you're competitive." They're not going to be ready for this Leo who pays them no mind with the with the 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 you know trying to say that you're competitive because you don't have any competition. So you're moving differently. You know your worth. You've already added zeros behind your worth, right? So. 
the the optimism is really coming from a very pure place that natural leader is coming from a very pure place that honesty and that loyalty see this is what this is what they were scared a person who knows their worth doesn't have to manipulate other people if you want to leave go i'm not trying to manipulate you to stay i'm not in competition with anybody if you decide to choose them over me hey y'all have a good life because I know my worth, right? So again, them trying to manipulate you by saying that you're you're prideful. Yes, I need to take pride in my work. I worked very hard. I've accomplished a lot of things. Yes, I take pride in that because you don't know you weren't there, right? Yes. The song that came the song that came to my mind as I was saying that, um, and thank you, Spirit, for dropping this in my spirit. It was Alabaster Box. That's the song that came to my spirit by C.C. Winans. If you all haven't heard it, go listen to the song. But that's what dropped in my spirit. They were really, they, were, they, have, they have no idea what you went through to become you. And you're still becoming your best selves. That's what they don't understand. That is what they don't understand. Yeah. So, yes, I do see you moving towards legacy wealth. Prosperity lies ahead and a lot of it. A lot of prosperity lies ahead, right? So, yes. There is somebody be, could be connected to an earth sign in some way, shape, form, or fashion that's letting you know, listen, you have the ability to do the same thing that they are. You could be connected to a Capricorn, somebody who has Taurus or Virgo somewhere in their chart, or you may have it in your chart. Maybe you stepped into that room. Maybe you should go watch that video when it's uploaded as well. But yeah, somebody, somebody said, I'm not sitting in front of this vault another cycle. You're cleaning up your space. The number nine. This rebirth of being delivered from somebody's manipulation and fear tactics and all of this other mess. Somebody, I mean, got up this morning or wherever you are, because I know it's nighttime in some places. Somebody got up from that space of just, I'm not really sure to, yes, I am sure. Let me move forward. Let me stop playing myself. Let me stop playing with myself and start playing myself. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Serenity. That peace and that calmness that you have, Leo, is, <laughs> woo, somebody stepped into that divine light. That number six means that somebody is about to give birth to something amazing. Amazing. So yes, that master manipulator can't manipulate you anymore. They just cannot. They cannot. They can try, but it's, it won't work. It won't work. All right, so let's see. Let's see what else we have here. I see the world from an expanded perspective. That is what I'm talking about. Let me show you this just in case somebody wants to screenshot it. Then we have, you can center yourself at will. Yes, you can. This is what I have for you. Leos, you are delivered from a master manipulator. Someone who came across your life as if they were a maternal energy to you. Somebody who was, who came across. And, and here's the thing, let's, to keep it all high vibrational. The truth of the matter is that they too were operating in fear. That's the devil energy. So instead of calling them a devil, let them know by your actions. You don't have to say it to them because a lot of people like to toss that term around. Oh, this person was a demon. They were this and that and so on and so forth. We know that it exists. We know that that energy exists, but it, it's really our carnal mind. It's our flesh. They were operating in their flesh. They too were very afraid of what source put inside of them. They did not see source in them. The difference between you and them now is that you see you know your value. You've added zeros, God, behind your value. So the person that, that you come in contact with, that you'll be creating this legacy with, also knows the same. They know their value and they've added zeros to it as well. So that person is going to have to find that m manipulator who is still learning their worth. Because I do believe that eventually, maybe at a different time or space, but you're long gone that they'll see their worth as well. So that's what I have for you, Leos. Again, the the you've stepped into your own divine light. We're talking about the number 38, which reduces to 11. But again, have a fantastic day. And don't forget to set those intentions. Prosperity lies ahead. So that's what I have for you. Bye.